Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in today's lecture we will be talking about abstract class and the interview question related to that and also I will be telling you a few trick questions which usually interviewer asks to confuse per, uh, like candidates in, in terms of abstract class. Now starting with the definition of abstract class, abstract class represents just a base class of which you cannot create object. These can only be inherited in order to use them. Now the first question comes from the definition is what is the base class? Base class is just an parent class which is been implemented or inherited by different child class which we call as derived class. Now as you know like you can use any class for inheritance. So why we need a special and uh, like a special abstract class? There is a difference with normal and abstract class. The abstract class uh, can have non-abstract uh, as well as abstract methods. Now the abstract method cannot be implemented within the base class that can only be implemented by the drive class so why this is necessary this thing is suppose during the creation of base class you are not completely sure about the implementation of the uh, one abstract method so in within the base class uh, like the derived class you can implement those methods now the thing is we can take an example like suppose this is your database or something or server and it has to be connected by different database one is sql server second is uh, oracle and second uh, third is db2 suppose uh, all three uh, has to connect this server so what you did is you made an abstract method named connect now their implementation lies within the derived class so each class can have their own implementation for connecting the server or something like that now uh, also abstract class help into making a standardization uh, like implement the standardization of method names now suppose if you declared any method name connect within that base class it has to be implemented by the derived class as like we do in interfaces now people do ask like if that is uh, the purpose is standardization then why don't uh, we use interfaces there is one common difference Sec uh, the difference is abstract class can have non abstract method as well which can have their implementation within the abstract class which the uh, which interface cannot do and those methods are also inherited by this class so those common method are also accessible by derived class which are declared and defined and implemented within the base class and abstract methods which are declared as abstract methods within the uh, abstract class those are mandatory like uh, are uh, like required to get implemented by the child class so let us see what is abstract class line by line and with point by point okay now i will be telling you each point which you will be telling the interviewer regarding what is the abstract class now abstract class is the class where you cannot uh, create any object of that class you can say no object of the this class can be initiated now with this what we mean is now let me show you one example i created this abstract class name abstract class example which is having one abstract method and second is non-abstract method and also i have created a derived class which is inheriting this abstract class now my first point is no object of this class cannot be created now let us try to make object of abstract class and you will note the error is came the error is cannot create an instance of the abstract class if you uh, look at the tooltip cannot create an instance of the abstract class or interface so the first thing we are clear with is abstract class cannot uh, we cannot create object of the abstract class now the second point come is abstract class can have non abstract and uh, abstract methods but abstract method need to be cannot be implemented within the abstract class and instead they need to be implemented in derived class now let us try to implement this method within the abstract class itself and let's see what our compiler say now it will say uh, this is the abstract method cannot declare a body because it is marked abstract so we cannot have a body we cannot have implementation of any method which is declared as abstract so one thing we are clear with is we cannot uh, like any uh, implement the ab uh, abstract method within the abstract class now the second is it it needs to uh, get implement uh, implemented within the drive class so suppose let us don't uh, like uh, we should not be implementing this method now if we try to recompile now it will give error because it is saying it does not implement inherited abstract method we haven't implemented so it is mandatory to implement the abstract method suppose there is one more abstract method let us create that which will be suppose returning string and uh, well let us make it as well now if i try to recompile it again 
it will say this reconnect uh, initial implement connect well is not implemented so let us go here and try to implement that one now you see it has implemented both and if i try to recompile it will the compilation will succeed because i have implemented the abstract method so it is mandatory to implement the abstract methods for the derived class now abstract method cannot be private so if I try to make the abstract method private and I try to recompile it will give an error it is a abstract member cannot be private now as you are seeing like we have covered this point first of all the abstract method cannot have its own object like the person cannot initiate a new object of an abstract class abstract class can have abstract as well as non abstract method abstract method can only be implemented by the derived class and it is mandatory to get implemented by the derived class and also abstract method cannot be private I think so far we are clear with the concept now coming to this an abstract class cannot be static now let us try to make our abstract class static and I try to recompile it will say abstract class cannot be sealed or static now as you can see we cannot have this and same case is with the abstract methods we cannot have abstract method as static also it will give me exception okay now this is the case which we have to take uh, like uh, which is one of the main answer like abstract method and abstract class cannot be static and also okay access modifier of abstract member should be the same in derived class if access modifier is public in the base class then it in derived class method should be public if the it is protected then it is derived uh, in the derived class method should be protected now what we mean is suppose here we have declared the method as public and if I try to change that from public to protected and I try to mm -hmm to recompile it it will give me error it the error is cannot change access modifier when overriding now here in the initial declaration we made it as protected and while implementing we are implementing it as public it will give exception the access modifier must be same on both the scale both the places now here it is protected here it is protected no problem the next is public and the implementation is also public it there is no problem but if i change any of it uh, vice versa like public for protected and protected for public it will give an exception so access modifier cannot be overridden now the other question uh, the other point is uh, abstract method cannot be virtual as it is implicitly virtual now you are seeing like we are already overriding the method so there is no uh, like sense of making those method virtual because implicitly they are already virtual we are overriding them so if i try to run it will say it cannot be marked the abstract method cannot be marked as virtual so i think we are clear so far whatever we have seen now the other is abstract mem method member cannot cannot be static we have seen that we try to make a static method and it can give exception because it is not having an implementation so how we can have it static now abstract class can inherit other class just like other normal class now this is one of the trick question which people say like abstract class is uh, act as base class so uh, will it be possible for abstract class to inherit some other class let us make any normal class let us make like sample and declare an property there uh, like any variable there uh, string name you wish and uh, let me inherit this class within the abstract class now will this give an, uh, any exception I am able to access the name like this variable so let me try to rebuild and I see my rebuild got successful so yes the answer of this question is yes we can inherit any other class within the abstract class because other than the abstract keyword and few uh, like few functionality ex uh, condition constraints the abstract class is just a normal class which is uh, which will act do the things like a different class just the thing is it cannot have a object created it can have abstract non abstract method abstract method access modifier should be the same in derived as well as in uh, the base class 
also abstract method cannot be virtual cannot be static even the class can abstract class cannot be static so these are the common differences you can find in the slides also so if you have still have any question you can contact me through my email id my phone number and my skype id and also the code and this slide will be available on my website also you can download it from textfy.in so i will be very happy to have reviews from you if you have any question if you need any special help or any special lecture i will be happy to give thank you keep learning stay healthy